Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in. With me today is Professor Mar Martin Corbigan, the Professor of Microbiology here at NUI Galway, and we're here to talk a little bit about antimicrobial resistance. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, to start us off, can you tell us about what exactly is antimicrobial resistance, and why is it important to the general population? Okay, so when we talk about um, antibiotic resistance, if we start first with what do we mean by an antibiotic? So an antibiotic is a drug that we use to kill um, bacteria. Uh, and, but bacteria are extraordinary uh, organisms, and they can change very quickly. Um, they change their genetic code all the time, and sometimes you get changes in the genetic code, which mean that an antibiotic doesn't work anymore. And then we say that, our, that then if you use that antibiotic against that organism, the organism doesn't die, and so that's an antibiotic-resistant organism. So antibiotic-resistant organism or antimicrobial resistance is a situation where an antibiotic that used to work to kill a particular type of bug no longer works to kill that type of bug. Okay. So in the news, we're seeing that antimicrobial resistance is becoming more and more frequent. Do you have any views why this is happening? There's very little doubt as to why antibiotic resistance is becoming more common. And we're seeing a, a lot of antibiotic use. There's a lot of antibiotic use in human healthcare. There's also antibiotic use in, in animal pr food production. And there's even some antibiotic use in non-animal food production. So the world is awash with antibiotics. We're using something like 200 million tons of antibiotics a year worldwide. And, and it's the evidence is completely persuasive there. The more antibiotics you use, the bigger the problems you're going to have with antibiotic resistance. So we're using too many antibiotics, and, and that's why we're seeing such big problems. Okay, so what happens when we encounter an organism that is resistant to all the antibiotics we have? Well, fortunately, that's still uncommon, but it does happen. So I have been, you know, I, ha I have seen patients who have had infections with bugs that were resistant to everything that, that's left. Um, in those kind of situations, people try to put together combinations, and, but it's a lot of guesswork. That situation is still very rare, but it's becoming increasingly common. So people are talking about now uh, a situation where uh, it will become fairly commonplace possibly in the next 10 or 15 years, that you will have patients who have infections with bacteria for which there's nothing left. Not common yet, in fact it's still quite rare, but getting more common and increasingly difficult to deal with. And for our viewers, is there anything that the general public can do to reduce the rate of antimicrobial resistance? Well, the big message that we have for the general public and for doctors is to avoid using antibiotics when you don't need them. One of the most common reasons for antibiotic use in Ireland is uh, for cold and, and, and respiratory tract infections. So cough, most coughs and colds will get better just as fast without antibiotics. Um, and so that's a really important message. And then more generally, we would say that if you do have antibiotics and you don't end up finishing the course for any reason, then please take the antibiotics back to a pharmacist for safe disposal. Don't put them down the toilet and don't put them into the plant, into the rubbish pit because that puts antibiotics into the environment which contributes to the problem. And the last thing is that overall, there's far too much um, fondness now amongst people for using things that kill bacteria. So not just antibiotics, but also um, you have antibacterial stuff and soaps and all of these kind of things and most of the time, most bacteria should be left alone. And a lot of the soaps that you buy now have antibacterial stuff. For example, there's one called triclosan, which would be in a whole bunch of stuff that you buy now, personal care products. Triclosan also encourages bacteria to become resistant to, um, to triclosan and can make them more likely to be resistant to antibiotics. So the three big things are less use of antibiotics, and care and disposal of antibiotics that you haven't used, and to leave bacteria alone when they're not bothering you, which is most of the time. So we use far too much antibacterial products in our daily lives, and the less we use them, the better in most cases. And finally, for our medical student viewers specifically, is there any advice you would give them? So for medical students, I think when you get to the stage where you start prescribing antibiotics, it's my line that the students in this university would have heard from me before, is that antibiotic prescribing is not a form of self-expression. If you're prescribing antibiotics, um, when you're prescribing antibiotics, 
you need to do it according to well-established guidelines, um, uh, prescribing the right drug for the right duration by the right route of administration. Antibiotics are really valuable. Sometimes people say, oh, microbiologists sound like they don't want anyone to ever get an antibiotic again. In fact, the reason we're so keen on this is because we know just how important antibiotics are for all of us. And, and the way to protect them for us and for future generations is to start using them better. Well, thank you very much for your time, Professor. And thank you for all viewers for tuning in.